Ah, Texas. The beautiful state of Texas, home of DreamCon 2024. Unfortunately, this not about to be a beautiful story to match. This is the story of a young nigga like me who got stranded. Yup, stuck in Texas after DreamCon. So this about to be a story time, you feel what I'm saying to you, but it's not a pleasant one. How did we get here? That is the question. <laughs> you know how the movies be starting like, you wanna figure out how we ended up here? Well, uh, it's not it's not the funnest story on my behalf, but, but on, on the bright side, you guys are gonna benefit because you're probably gonna get the best story time that you've ever gotten from my channel before. <sighs> but let's just say my personal dream con experience isn't ending in a dreamly manner. You feel what I'm saying? But either way, what's up, Sakwase? Hit that miss amigos, it's your boy Jam, and today I'm gonna tell you how I ended up stranded after DreamCon. Yeah. Also, real quick before we continue, I just wanted to make it clear that I understand that for one, everything in the story that went wrong is 100% my fault. But that doesn't help change anything. In fact, it makes the situation even more miserable knowing that I can't even blame anybody. It's because of me that I'm stranded here. And thing number two, when I said my DreamCon experience didn't end the greatest or whatever the case may be, I'm not referring to actual DreamCon. I'm just referring to the trip as a whole because evidently, <laughs> just my luck, typically, when I go to DreamCon, shit pops off, things is pretty cool, but then when it's over, everybody else just experienced sadness. Me, I experienced trouble, trauma. So the last night of DreamCon ended a little something like this. And yeah, obviously this is a reenactment because it's not like I knew to plan to record me sleeping because it was going to be needed for a story time. But just this man, your disbelief for one second rock with me. Hold on. Let me cook. So I get a call in the middle of my slumber asking me if I want to take a $200 credit just to take a later flight at three instead of my designated five or 12 or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, I get to sleep a little longer, go to the airport and fly out at three. Cool. Yes. Give me the credits. Boom. Click back to sleep. So I wake up at 12 and I'm like, uh, yeah, let me, you know what I'm saying, check my itinerary. I'm about to leave in a few hours, whatever the case may be. And I look and I realize they're saying 3 a.m. the next day, not 3 p.m. They didn't push it later. They meant, do you want a later flight at a later date? So I'm like, damn, I'm already about to check out of my hotel. And also, I'm still stuck in Texas, so I'm gonna have to be here for a whole nother day. So I put out a little message out on the social medias, anybody still here, whatever. I get hit up by my boy JD, I get hit up by my boy J Astro, but J Astro's spot was a little bit further, so I went linked with JD. Then Jason hit me up and let me know that they was having a little kickback at his spot, at his B&B. So me and JD, we pull up at, at the spot and we, you know what I'm saying, chill for a little bit at the pool. That's Damn, true. That's too true. bad, that's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Then we head back to his telly and I crash and I put my alarm. I look at my flight time, 5 a.m. Boom, I'm just gonna be there a little bit early. I'm gonna go there at three. So I wake up at three, I pack my stuff up and I'm heading over there. So I get there like 3.15, 3.30 ish. And I'm looking at my uh, itinerary and I'm like, They definitely said three. If I want to take a $200 credit just to take a later flight at three, and the flight that I took coming to Austin was at five. So I saw 5 a.m. at the top of my paperwork and I was just like, cool. I was supposed to be there at three. <laughs> so guess who's stuck in Austin for another? <laughs> so guess who's stuck in Austin again? I tried to get them to reschedule. They was like, nah. I was like, every flight I looked up was like three, $400 plus. 
And I'm like, damn. They was like, we got you with a affordable flight in like a week. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do for a week? <laughs> so then I'm panicking a little bit. And then somebody hit me up and was like, yo, maybe try the buses. And I'm like, sheesh. But I checked the buses and it was OD expensive too. But I found a bus that was gonna leave same day for $250. Ugh, that, that hurt. That still hurts to this day, to this day. And, um, I mean, I had to cop the ticket because either that or I was going to be stuck. But guess what? It left. It leaves at 1 p.m. So originally I'm, I'm at the airport. It's 3 a.m. Well, it's 3.30 because I missed my 3 a.m. flight. And uh, I'm like, yo, I got to now stay here till 1 p.m. And also, I'm not about to go try to find anybody else because most people left by now. And even the people that didn't leave, I'm like, I'm not about to repeat history. I'm about to go wait at this bus stop at La Parada de Autobus. La Parada de Guagua. You feel what I'm saying to you? So I go straight to the bus stop. And it's not even one of those bus stops that's like inside of a place where I can sit down. Like, it's literally like across the street from a gas station. Like, it's a bus stop with no seats. So I'm standing there for... Oh, I got there maybe like 4 a.m. 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'm just standing at the bus stop with hella bags, gear, hoping I ain't get robbed, hoping I ain't. It's just, bro. And then the Texas Suns, look, I made a post when I landed in Texas that it was not as hot as last year and that it wasn't that bad. That extra day that I stayed in Texas, it was heat. You feel what I'm saying to you? Heat. So 1 p.m. comes and I hop on a bus and the journey begins, but it's a 30 hour journey. I'm not about to get home until the next day, next day, bro. <laughs> it's like a two day trip. Oh my God. Uh, adventure. And y'all can thank Feeling It NYC and JD for convincing me to vlog because I was just going tough it out and they was like bro might as well get some content and i was like you know what here we go so quick update we just uh stopped in san antonio and i have to stay here for three hours before i hop on to the next bus that will then eventually tomorrow take me to atlanta so my 30 hour trip we are how many hours in i'm not sure at this point I just know I'm a little delirious and uh, I'm paying for my negligence. That's all I can say. But yeah, so uh, I'll keep y'all posted on anything crazy. I so the bus ride itself. I'm not gonna say it's all that bad it's not great but it's not all that bad like you know i was expecting but i will say what's what the worst part is is the waste in between because it's a 30 hour journey because it's broken up into so many pieces like right now i'm waiting at this stop right here i don't know if y'all can see everything for another hour before i get on the next bus that's gonna take 24 i like i'm not <laughs> I still have a full day left before I get back today. You feel me? So, uh, let me get out of traffic so I can at least make it home. You feel me? In one piece. No Luffy. But, uh, man, adventure. God, we keep stopping. <laughs> We moving right along, you know what I'm saying? By now, we should probably be in Louisiana. If I was driving, we'd be where? Pro probably in Alabama right now, about to cross the border. I'm not going to lie, but I guess the only thing I could do to distract myself is eat. But look, they only got cold foods, cold sandwiches. We got a chicken salad and or a turkey sandwich, but they're cold, bruh. Oh, well, we're almost there. I'm still in fucking Texas. Oh my God. So we definitely got some good news. For the very first time we stopped and I see that they said we are not in Texas no more. We in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Grabbing some eats and uh, we still a long way from home, I'm not gonna lie. But 
but at least we're not in Texas anymore. So I'm feeling good, feeling great, feeling great, feeling good. And I'm about to munch with some food. I ate good, so I'm feeling pretty good about this last leg. At least I'm hoping it's the last leg. Either that or I'm on my last leg. Bro, I'm enjoying some sights as much as I can. And we pull up to the next stop, and I see we're still in Louisiana. It's like each stop is within the same state, and so it makes it feel that much longer than it has to feel. Because it's like we stopped in New Orleans. Louisiana but before that we was in Baton Rouge Louisiana but we were still in Louisiana I'm like just drive oh, but Louisiana is way closer than Texas so we just made it to now and I, honestly it's starting to become a little bit more of an adventure than a punishment for my negligence at least that's what I'm trying to tell myself um, I'm actually getting some content ideas for the future, so you know what I'm saying. Look out, look. Out. Don't don't let me hit the lotto. There's a lot of things I'm implementing, um, or, or or some sponsorships. Hit in if anybody is out there. But yeah, we're in New Orleans, and uh, I don't know what time it is. Well, we have an hour here because, like I said, we got a whole bunch of pit stops. I, that's what's making the trip along because technically if I would have drove to Texas and back you know what I'm saying I think I would have been back by now you feel me because I've driven before but it's the fact that we keep stopping and then we stop for an hour here three hours here they got to swap the bus driver and I and I, I prefer them swap the driver instead of having an exhausted driver taking us the whole way but still man <laughs> I'm just ready to be back home you feel what I'm saying to you but, you know, we, we, I think we're on the tail end of the trip now because what time is it? It's like 7 a.m. or something like that. We leave at like 8.40. So we got like an hour and a half. And, um, yeah. No, we dead got like 12 more hours to the trip. I just realized that based on the schedule. <laughs> when I said we're on the tail end... <laughs> I miscalculated, but things are looking up, and uh, yeah, disregard everything I said. I'm ready to be home, please. Somebody invent teleport that you should. I ain't gonna be in the first couple of people that try it because I ain't gonna trust it, but at least later on down the line, they can help somebody. Oh my god. Uh, but right now we had a subway in the subway, you feel what I'm saying to you? And uh Yeah man. We're gonna persevere. Cause that's all we can do. No more complaints for the rest of the trip. Just observations. That's it. Yeah. No more complaints and no more vids because I just forced myself to sleep for the rest of it. Didn't get off the bus even when they took stops. I just powered through and we're finally home at ATL. And I almost forgot that home didn't mean I would be home. It just meant I would be in the state and still needed a ride home. I reluctantly paid for an Uber. <laughs> and finally, finally, finally made it home. Uh -huh. I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate, what y'all say ain't in. All I know is go, all I know is grind. I'm on your head, so all I know is climb, just know I'm different. If I see the targets, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake, just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.